Hi, I'd like to demonstrate the first member of the UltraScale Plus portfolio, the Zinc UltraScale Plus MPSOC. Today, we're proud to demonstrate an upstream Linux kernel booting on silicon. Zinc UltraScale Plus MPSOC contains unprecedented levels of heterogeneous multiprocessing. The programmable hardware, software, and I.O. allows designers to solve problems more easily and with greater differentiation, integration, and flexibility than they've ever had before. As an engineer, I am very excited to share this milestone with you, making the first all-programmable, heterogeneous MPSOC a reality was no small feat. With application processors, real-time processors, GPUs, video coding, the most advanced programmable logic fabric, and much more on a single device, we're fortunate to have tomorrow's device today. Now, I'd like to turn your attention to the terminal. What you are seeing is the execution of each Zinc UltraScale Plus MPSOC boot component. The first stage bootloader, the platform management unit firmware, ARM trusted firmware, U-Boot, and the Linux kernel, plus a root file system. We are also demonstrating the power of the Xilinx SDK. Each of the boot components was JTAG loaded using XSDB, a powerful, low-level debugger that ships with the SDK. We created the boot components using Xilinx tools. The Xilinx SDK was used to compile the first stage bootloader using the GCC toolchain. Peta Linux tools were used to compile and package the platform management unit firmware, U-Boot, Linux kernel, and the root file system using the MicroBlaze GCC toolchain from Xilinx and the ARM V8 GCC toolchain from Linaro. Zinc UltraScale Plus MPSOC's straightforward boot sequence starts with the platform management unit and configuration and security unit. The platform management unit comes out of reset, verifies voltages using the on-chip A to D, and transfers control to the configuration and security unit. The configuration and security unit reads, authenticates, and decrypts the first stage bootloader from flash memory into the on-chip memory for the A53 or R5 to execute. The first stage bootloader then loads ARM trusted firmware into the on-chip memory and U-boot into DDR. The first stage bootloader passes control to ARM trusted firmware, which passes control to U-boot. U-boot loads the Linux kernel into DDR and passes control to Linux. If a bitstream is available, the first stage bootloader will also load it into the programmable logic. Linux will then initialize the MMU and caches and other processor resources. As the system continues to run, you can see a program that uses the Linux kernel's CPU hot plug interface to power individual A53s on and off. This is noteworthy because it shows heterogeneous communication and synchronization. Since the light switch to turn the A53 on and off is actually running on the platform management unit, the A53s must communicate to the platform management unit and ask it to flip the switch. We are all very excited to share this chip, the embedded software that enables it, and the higher level SDX software, along with the library of soft IP and standalone code that can help you easily unlock the potential of Zinc UltraScale Plus MPSOC.